Hi, I'm Kat and this is today's Tarot. I've been doing a little traveling this week, so my readings haven't been on the daily. I'm actually out visiting my dad for his 70th birthday, which was a bit of a spur of a moment decision, but I'm really happy that I got out here and that I've been able to spend some time, share some time actually with family. It's meant a lot to me because they don't live close by to me and I think it's really important that we make time to do that. So the deck that I'm reading with today is going to be the traditional Rider weight deck. I typically read with the deck that I drew by hand, but it's a bit of a larger sized deck to travel with. And this is just like a traditional sized deck, so I'm reading with this one today. The opening card that we have is the Ten of Wands. Now, tens are energies of crystallization, and a wand is, you know, this energy of fire and moving our energy and effort towards something. So having a Ten of Wands means that we actually have a lot of things that we're doing, and so much so that we're kind of addicted to this doing, and we don't really see where we're going with all of the doing. It's like the duaholic, you know, all day long there's something to do and there's really no time for peace or for family or for maybe some essential things around the realm of self-care. And we have to be watchful for that. We may want to please people and say yes when they ask us to do things, but we may not actually have the energy or the means to follow through with it. So we have to be careful toward what we say we can put our energy towards so that it ac actually can be focused and in a direction that will be fruitful rather than just moving blindly with all of this stuff to do. The challenge that came through today is the Justice card. It's a major arcana, but it came in upside down. So our challenge today is around relationship and this idea of exchange. Now, interestingly enough, Right now in our astrology system, Venus is in Virgo, which is kind of a critical energy for our loving aspect of self to be in. It can over, over analyze things and get a little too focused on the details of things, but it can also see details that need to have care and attention brought to them. Now consider that we also have Mars in Virgo right now. And so while Venus and Mars aren't in direct conjunction, they are in the same sign. So it's almost as if Venus is seeing what needs to be done in this area of our lives and Mars is putting action and effort toward it because Mars is that warrior energy that then follows through with things that need to be done. Now it's showing up as a challenge because in opposition to this Venus energy, we have Neptune, which is in Pisces right now. So we're starting to get some clarity around illusions and ideas around relationship. And it's being challenging for us in how we are in life and perhaps in how we've seen where we've been going. Now, the way that we're gonna get through that challenge is actually kind of an intimidating card. It's the Tower card. The Tower card is an energy that's ruled by the planet Mars. And it's this energy of unavoidable change. You know, you see the figures in this card are kind of falling down out of the windows of this building that's been struck by lightning and it brings up this energy of you know when there is change and chaos it's not useful to look back and regret the things that didn't work out you have to actually uh, apply yourself in the moment of that change you know for instance um, if the waters are rising on the beach rather than say it really shouldn't be like that. Remember last year when it was XYZ as the water's still rising on the beach? It's more useful to get up and move away from the water, right? Like you have to respond to the situation that is at hand. And this energy of this unavoidable circumstance that comes in today that really um, brings things back down to the most practical level is revealing because it shows you where you can actually put your energy and where it's important for you to put your energy because change creates that space. It kind of forces our attention to apply itself uh, in that moment because the change is so big. Now, the ultimate outcome that we have for today is this Wheel of Fortune energy, which is also like a turn of events type of energy. 
The Wheel of Fortune is a card that's ruled by Jupiter, so it's a very expansive energy, and it also is considered a card that it has a beneficial aspect to it. So while things are changing constantly, even while we try to create stability in our lives, oftentimes those changes create opportunities and a turn of events that actually will bring about something unexpected that we wouldn't have actually realized unless that change had come about. So while there are, you know, kind of intimidating energies that we're all working with, it's important to trust in the process and to continue to thread the layers out here in the world with our prayers and our intentions and what we wish to see and what we know is possible and trust that the universe can create that space too. And so remember that, you know, this, this energy of Jupiter is this expansive, expansive energy. When we expand our way of looking at things or expand our point of view, we get a little less identified with things that are happening personally to us because we can take things in on a bigger, uh, a bigger uh, viewpoint, a, bi a bigger scheme of things. And this is all about realizing that there are benefits even within the change and looking at that rather than that one red thread that is out of place. So these are our cards for today. We do have, you know, some interesting energies and some intense energies that we're all working through, especially with this Lionsgate that we just moved through on the 8th of August. We are in a period of time right now, we're gonna start seeing the moon wax and gain light as it um, moves further away from the sun and we can start to see the sun reflected on its surface. So it's a really important time to seed your intentions into this moment of what you actually want to bring about in your life and what you want to move toward and pay, possibly even um, opening up your viewpoint so that you can see which things are helpful to let go of and which things you want to embrace and bring into your life and which things are most important to you and ultimately what fruit you gathered out of the harvest of all this change because there's definitely something of value here within the midst of everything that we're dealing with so there is a lot today with there being three major arcanas because that is some major life work that we are working with if any of this struck you and you would like to get some insight into what's going on with your personal natal chart and the transits that are happening with you, feel free to reach out and we will schedule some time. I send you so much love and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now. Mwah.